All right, let's go. Okay, so in between uh, Marianne and the next one, there was an amusing diversion at the Iowa State Fair put on by, I don't know, your state police department? It was an amusing diversion I would like to call the, the, the drug trailer. So why don't we take a look at that? Parents, talk to this man to see what alcohol or narcotic substances your child is using. So he saw, so he saw okay, so it's like a, it's a mobile trailer set up by the Iowa State Police. And essentially the, the idea of it is it's like, you know, parents come in the drug trailer. And what they do is it's like a simulation of a child's bedroom. And they're going to show you all of the paraphernalia all of the hiding places and all of the signs that your child may be on drugs. And, uh, right. and, and here and here is set up out front, they have this like glass display of all the different kind of drugs you can do and what you should be on the lookout, you know, if you just see, you know, yeah. By the way, I will say, I looked at that whole board and PCP's not in there, so I think it's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, there is a, there is this uh, uh, glass case board right in front of me called the, you can see right here, the Drug Identification Guide. Now, this was Friday, so we had been cut off for about 16 hours at that point <laughs> from our standard uh, uh, New York drug supply. So we were really contemplating punching through that glass to get that whip it. And I was like, this looks like a garlic salt. And they were like, oh, they're not real drugs, obviously. Again, their, their whole pitch here is we know how to find the drugs. And I'm like, well, what's up with this fake shit? Uh, how so, come there's no DMT, 2CB, LSD, ketamine in there? This is, uh, we should talk. So uh, I'm like, fuck yeah, show me, show me the drug trailer. I want to know, know all the hiding places. And uh, Matt and I went into the trailer. By the way, uh, the, the, another hilarious feature of this is that I was holding a giant beer in my hand the entire time I was doing this. I was like, oh, this, this is the good drug. And uh, it was like, you know, our friend, the officer, gave us like a personal tour of this trailer. And it's like, again, it's this like airsats version of like a teenage boy's bedroom. And what I learned from it is that uh, basically the Simpsons, Supreme, and Rick and Morty are all signs that your kids are on drugs. Also, uh, another big tell is if your child has a giant poster of Pablo Escobar in their bedroom. <laughs> oh, my God. That was one of them. So one of the things they had out there was they had in the little bed nook, they had two posters. One was Tony Montana, you know, World is Mine, and the other was Pablo Escobar. And the cop was saying, well, you know, your parents, they might not know who that is, you know, Tony Montana from Scarface, that whole movie that, that people remember, but they might not know who that is. They, they just think it's a nice-looking guy with a mustache and a leisure suit, you know? It's like, yeah, my, my son, I think he's a fan of 1970s football coaches. <laughs> I assume. I don't have any other frame of reference. Apparently, then you're supposed to go in there and be like, that's a drug dealer? Oh, Tyler, you're getting a talking to when I get home. So this is like, this is so fucking funny. So the guy's taking us through this like, uh, you know, set up uh, bedroom that's filled with more drugs than I've ever like owned at any one time in my life ever. And it's like, you know, you open up a book and it's like, oh, fucking like, you know, Coke or X falls out of the pages of it. You're like, oh, it's a fucking treasure trove here. And then he starts showing us all like the, the sort of cut out bottoms of water bottles or like a, a peanut butter jar with a piece of PVC piping put down the middle where you could put your stash. And then he showed us an actual glass pipe and he's like, real marijuana has been smoked out of this. Get, get, get a sense of that smell. Get a sense of that smell. Ooh, gross. And I'm like, real again, marijuana has been smoked out of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, none of that K2 bullshit. <laughs> and I was like, you know, he's very earnestly giving us this door, and they're like, you know, if you see these, uh, you know, like, you know, straws that are cut in half, chances are they're not for milkshakes or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, wait, aren't you a cop? Like, can't you tell I'm high right now? <laughs> 
You're just giving us advice on how to hide drugs from the police. Should they ever search our establishment? By the way, the way to do that is take the lesson from the purloined letter. The best way to hide something, hide it in plain sight. <laughs> To your point about hiding in plain sight, though, my absolute favorite detail of this uh, police-created uh, simulacrum of teenage drug use is that in this teenage boy's bedroom, like right under the TV, he had a framed photo of a teenager, <laughs> presumably the child himself, smoking a bowl. If, and I was you, like, <laughs> if you see that in your child's bedroom, it's a warning sign. And I was like, presumably it's not going to be that. If your child has posed for Larry Clark, that is a warning <laughs> sign. And I was like, officer, presumably it's not going to be that easy for every parent. And he was like, well, no, we're just, you know, trying to give a, you know, impression here. 